I used to struggle to focus for two to three hours every single day and now I can focus for eight, 10 or even 12 hours. Now in this video, I want to explain what made the difference and also give you some actionable steps if you're in a similar situation as I was in before to actually fix that and be able to focus without distractions and with absolute ease for eight, 10 or even 12 hours every single day. There's one thing that changed the whole game for me is this concept of novelty. And I want to explain this concept in a bit more detail by telling you a little backstory. So when I was growing my first business, which was back in 2020, and then when I was continuing growing it in university, then I always was working from one room. It was either my bedroom or it was an office or something similar to that, but it was always this one place with one desk and one chair. And I've noticed when I was working that I could sustain my focus for one, two or three hours without an issue. And that usually represented one or maybe two deep work blocks. And I was fine, like morning routine, I felt amazing. Then I sat down and I was working for one to two to three hours and maybe one break in between and I felt really good. But the funny thing happened after that is that I started to feel really demotivated, unfocused, and I was not really feeling it. I was really, I was really fighting myself when I tried to get back to work after that second deep work block, which was usually after three hours of work. And no matter what I did, I just couldn't bring myself back to the flow state, to experiencing the incredible focus and get things done. And it really felt difficult and I could feel the resistance. And again, no matter what I did, I just couldn't bring myself back to being super focused and focusing. And because of that, I was more prone to distractions. So instead of working on the things that I needed to get done, I was on social media or I was watching YouTube videos to educate myself on a subject or I just simply went for a walk and after I came from a walk I was even more tired and I couldn't go back to focusing so I was just simply not doing the work for the rest of the day. So that's something that maybe you've experienced as well uh, because it's very common. I speak to a lot of entrepreneurs and they, they seem to experience and struggle with the same thing. Then again, like this concept of novelty can be really a game changer. So once I learned about this concept, I tried something interesting. So after the two or three hour work block, I changed my environment. I changed the locations from where I was working. So I took my laptop and I was in university in London. I took my laptop after two or three hours and I went to either a coffee shop or a co-working space in the city, which I booked day in advance. And I was spending there a lot of time, right? So that's exactly what I did. So after I arrived there, then um, I had this mental break I was listening to a podcast I was just walking in silence which gave me that little break and when I get to, when I got to the coffee shop or to a co-working space I was able to feel amazing again because that novelty that dopamine that I got from a new environment um, was helping me to stay focused and get focused and I was motivated to work and it helped me also to access my flow state. So I sat down and I worked for another two or three hours and that was very helpful as well. And then I went back home to my student accommodation and continued to work there for another two or three hours, right? So that was essentially the routine. And now, right now when I'm in my apartment and I have an office and a living space, then what I do right now is that the first half of the day I spend here and then when I feel the drop in my focus and in concentration I feel like um, I just cannot get back to the task or I feel like I cannot be working anymore I switch my location and my environment and I either take my computer to the living room where I just work from there or I go to a coffee shop nearby and I just finish my tasks for the rest of the day there so I always have that sense of novelty whenever I feel like my focus and my concentration is drifting off one thing that I want to mention when you switch your environment you can switch your activities as well so for example um, when I work in my office I usually do the deep work here so for the first four to six hours of the day I conduct my deep work in this office behind this desk and I just have my computer here and I just work on the most important tasks of the day and once I notice my focus my concentration my energy levels are drifting off then again I like I take my computer to the living room or I take it to the coffee shop and I finish my admin tasks my communication tasks or anything that is not that important and anything that doesn't take a lot of energy and focus from me so that way I can also associate a certain places either in my apartment 
or in the city where I can do certain tasks. And this also helps to not only help you stay focused, but also be motivated and have that dopamine every time you go to that place or every time you are about to work on that task because you will prime your brain to associate different places with different tasks. And if you have like maybe you switch between two or three places during the day, you have that novelty sense in your day and it's easier to get things done and access flow state. That's essentially how you can operate at a high level consistently without burning out, without feeling bored, without procrastination, because this will really help you to keep going. And those little rewards of changing the place really help you stay consistent, disciplined, and will really help you also get the work done. So to conclude this video, I just want to share some actionable steps just to summarize so you can take action. Number one, start your day and do the most important tasks of the day in your main environment. So for me, it's an office. For you, it could be your home office. It could be a co-working space. So do your main work and start a day in your main workspace. Number two, find one to three different environments in your city, in your house, wherever you are right now, and just find those places where you can go and where you can change those environments during the day. Number three, whenever you feel the dip in energy, focus, concentration, then you can switch those environments and it usually happens after two four or six hours. And number four, like I've said during this video, dedicate each task a different work environment. So for your deep work, have your main work environment. For your admin and communication tasks, go to a coffee shop, you know, or go to a co-working space. Yeah, make sure that you take action on this. Try it out and let me know in the comments below. And I appreciate you watching this video. That's everything for today. So if you liked it, hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.